welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making another tray. This tray is going to be Christmas themed with a Mrs. Claus Bakery. I have taken a piece of plywood that's the base of our tray and just spray painted it with some gray spray paint. Then I have some one by twos and that are that's our side pieces. So I cut those accordingly. I sprayed them with black paint and then I am um, assembling the tray. After I get the tray assembled, I will sand the whole thing. And then after the sanding, I apply a coat of white paint. This is just regular latex house paint, but you can use any kind of white paint you want. At this point, you can choose to distress it if you want with some sandpaper, or you can just let it go. After I sand, I usually um, sweep out my trays just to make sure there's no debris because you don't want that underneath your transfer. All right, the transfer here. You're going to not do what I do, okay? You want to stick the Mod Podge on the transfer, on the ink side of the transfer. Don't do this. Don't put the Mod Podge on the project and then stick it like this. I do two kinds of transfers. I do a tissue paper transfer and I do this laser print transfer and I do them differently. So when you're doing this kind of transfer, actually put the Mod Podge on the transfer, on the paper, and then put it on the project. You need to let that dry for 24 hours. That ink has to have time to dry and to adhere to your project. After you let it dry for 24 hours, you need to get some water. And I have this little sprayer that I use, but you could get a sponge, however you wanna apply the water. And you just give it a nice coat of water so that your paper softens up. And you can use your fingers if you want to remove the paper, but I happen to love a toothbrush. A toothbrush works wonders for removing the paper on projects like this. Um, the toothbrush lasts for a couple projects and then I have to get a new toothbrush, but that's okay. It's a lot better than my fingers going back and forth and trying to rub all that off. Once you let that paper, I'm sorry, once you let that dry after you remove the paper, then you take your sealer and you put another coat of, um, you put a sealer over the whole thing. And if there's any kind of dry spots or any little paper residue left on your design, then this helps kind of um, eliminate that or make it go away. So you definitely wanna seal it, um, seal the whole thing, not just the bottom of the tray, but seal the whole thing in case someone actually wants to use this and they put food on it or whatever and they wanna wipe it off, you could wipe it off with a, a wet cloth. Okay, I put some handles on and then there we go. There's your tray. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.